Good day everyone, this is Sir JM. Andito na naman tayo para matuto ng math. Tara! Our lesson for today is all about Midline Theorem. Midline Theorem, the segment that joins the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third sides and half as long. Therefore, the formula for Midline Theorem is Midline is equal to one half times the parallel sides, this one. Now, point A is the midpoint of side HI, while point D is the midpoint of side IL. Therefore, AI is congruent to HA. And ID is congruent to DL. By joining the two points, or the two midpoints, a new segment is created. And that is the segment AD. And its parallel side is HL. Okay, this is the parallel side. HL. Let's have this example. Identify the following. XY is parallel to? Yes, XY is parallel to TU. Number two. XS is equal to? Very good. XS is equal to? SY because of this midpoint S. Next, SU is parallel to XZ. XT is equal to TZ because of the midpoint T. Next, YZ is parallel to ST. Let's have this one. YU plus blank is equal to YZ. YU plus, okay, we have UZ is equal to YZ. Very good. Next, if SY is 4, what is XY? Okay, since XS is also 4, therefore, XY is 8. Very good. Next, if ST is 8, if ST is 8, what do you think is YZ? According to midline theorem, midline is equal to one half of its parallel sides. Now, since ST is 8, what do you think is the measure of YZ? Very good. This is 16. Half of 16 is 8. Next, if XZ is 24 okay this parallel side is 24 what do you think is the measure of its midline that is su yes very good that is 12 next number 10 if xy is 20 xy is 20 20 what is xs okay XS is very good. That is 10. Next. Given the triangle HIL, AD is 10.5 centimeter. What is HL? Okay, our given formula is midline is equal to one half times the parallel sides. Given AD, AD is the midline. Therefore, we have here AD is equal to 
one half times HL. Since AD is 10.5 is equal to one half times HL, we have here 10.5 cross multiply times 2 is equal to HL. Then we have here 10.5 times 2 is very good. HL is equal to 21. Next, if IL is 32, if IL is 32, then what is ID? Okay, IL, this side is 32, what is ID? Since ID plus DL is equal to 32 id plus dl is equal to il which is 32 then id is equal to dl therefore we have id plus id is equal to il we have two ID is equal to IL. The measure of IL is 32. We have 2. ID is equal to 32. What is the next procedure? Yes. 2 ID is equal to 32 divided both sides by 2. Cancel out 2. ID is what? Very good. ID is 16. Next, we have here triangle XYZ. If XS is 3X plus 2 and SY is equal to X plus 10, what is XY? First, let us identify the relationship between XS and SY. XS and SY are congruent to each other, therefore we have XS is congruent to SY. Or, XS is equal to SY. We need an equation to find for the value of X. Therefore, applying the given of XS, we have 3X plus 2 is equal to X plus 10. What is our next procedure? Yes, transfer X. To the left side of our equation we need to transfer this one it becomes negative is equal to 10 then we need to transfer this to it becomes negative 2 3x minus x is 2x is equal to 10 minus 2 is 8 then dividing both sides by 2 x is equal to 4 that is the value of our x then, to find the value of xs, applying the value of x, we have here xs is equal to 3x plus 2. Applying the value of x, we have xs is equal to 3. Then, the value of x is 4 plus 2. xs is equal to 12 plus 2. We have here xs is equal to 14. Since according to our given, that is xs is equal to sy, therefore xs is 14. Also, sy is also 14. Now, since 14 is the sy, 
and xs is also 14 we have here xs plus sy is equal to xy that is 14 plus 14 is equal to xy xy is equal to 28 next if st is 5x minus 10 and yz is 2x plus 4 what do you think is the measure of st and yz let us first identify the given st is the midline and yz is the parallel sides therefore the formula for midline is midline is equal to one half times the parallel sides okay since our midline is st we have here st is equal to one half times yz applying the value we have here 5x minus 10 is equal to 1 half times 2x plus 4 plus multiply we have here 5x minus 10 times 2 is equal to 2x plus 4 we have here distribute 2 We have 10x minus 20 is equal to 2x plus 4. Then, transfer 2x at the left side of our equation. It becomes 10x minus 2x is equal to 4. Transfer 20, it becomes positive plus 20. 10x minus 2x is 8x is equal to 4 plus 20 is 24. And divided both sides by 8, x is equal to 3. Now, since the value of our x is 3, applying it to our given, we have st is equal to 5x minus 10. We have st is equal to 5 times the value of x is 3 minus 10. We have st is equal to 15 minus 10. st is equal to 5. According to our formula, midline is one half of its parallel sides. Therefore, yz our YZ is 10, the midline is 5. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to follow, like, and share my FB page at Matt with Sir JM. And subscribe my YouTube channel, Matt with Sir JM. Stay tuned for more videos. Baka mat yan!